When you're applying to college, you'll come across this term a lot, STEM or STEM designated. In this video, I want to explore what the heck this thing means and why you should care about it. So let's get started with what exactly STEM is. So STEM essentially means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And STEM designated means any specific course that would fall under these categories that would be like, you know, a STEM designated course. So for science, of course, we're looking at stuff like pure science, which is, you know, physics, chemistry, biology, computer science would also fall under science. And then for technology, we're looking at, you know, that tech related stuff like, you know, human computer interaction, AI maybe, or like business analytics and stuff would definitely fall under technology. And then engineering, of course, anything with the suffix of engineering would be under engineering. And then mathematics is, of course, math stuff. So technically, universities don't actually designate each program under each you know, specific letter of STEM. They just tell you if a program is STEM designated or not. I just you know, wanted to expand it for you guys and you know, show you like, examples of programs that might fit into like, the STEM designation. Now, of course, if your specific program is not like, obviously under STEM, like you know, it's not related to math or engineering or you know, stuff like biology or whatever, then you might be wondering, okay, like, is my target program STEM designated? I want to know, all right? The short answer is, I have no idea. But how you guys can find out is essentially by Googling is, and then the name of your program, STEM designated, question mark, right? And then there'll be like a bunch of entries and stuff, which will tell you whether your program is designated or not. Now there is something of a middle ground here, and that is for MBAs, right? So generally MBAs are not STEM designated. It doesn't have anything to do with STEM. It's not STEM designated. However, there are exceptions. For example, the University of Pennsylvania Wharton School of Business, you know, for them, certain programs are under STEM designation and then certain MBA programs are not. So depending on the specialization you choose, your MBA may be STEM designated or you know, not STEM designated. In certain other schools, you know, for example, the Michigan Ross School of Business, there's like something called a STEM track, which means that you have to take those you know, specific courses under their STEM track requirement. And then if you take those courses in your MBA degree, then your MBA will be considered as you know, a STEM designated course. And finally, there are universities for which the entire MBA program will be STEM designated. An example is the UCLA Anderson School of Business. All right, so now that you have like an understanding of you know, what is STEM and like what is a STEM designated course, the question is, why should you care? The main reason why you should care is if you're applying to the United States. So if you're applying to the US, you know, you'll be going on something called an F1 visa. So this is, like, this is like their most common student visa and that's what you'll be getting. After you graduate, you have, to, you have to apply for something called an OPT extension or an optional practical training extension. So this allows you to work after you graduate, you know, get some work experience and you know, basically contribute to the US economy. Now, generally the OPT extension is for one year, which means you're allowed to work for one year after you graduate. However, if you guys are in a STEM designated program, then you can apply for, an STEM, for like a STEM OPT extension, which means they add two more years on top of the initial one year. So one plus two, you get to work for three years after you graduate. Now this only works if your program is STEM designated, which means that if you are targeting, you know, working in the US for three years after you graduate, you have to make sure that the program you apply to is STEM designated. Outside the US, the whole STEM versus non-STEM thing is not really like a big deal. You know, student visas are given, you know, regardless of, you know, STEM versus non-STEM in most other countries. If you're applying to the US, then yes, you have to make sure that your program is STEM designated. Only then you'll get to stay there for three years. Otherwise, you can only stay there for one year. So why the US has made the STEM distinction is because the government has noticed that there's a lack of, you know, workers in the STEM designated fields and you know, there's a high demand for them. So they're, you know, they're making use of fresh graduates who will be able to, you know, work and contribute towards the economy and, you know, fill in that gap. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you loved it, subscribe. I'll be back with more graduate program related information. Bye-bye.